Okay, how's it folks and welcome back to the 17th episode of my Hogwarts Legacy Let's Play where we about to meet with Deke to have a discussion about the magical creatures is an amazing view of this castle quite like that little portrait right, let's fast travel down to secret rooms room of requirement there we go Deke. Ah, Deke is so happy to see you. Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beasts class, that I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So, perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed, and luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Come along, then. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go. Definitely want to do that, but before that, I'm going to pick up all the plants and potions and whatnot. Ooh, a Maxima potion from the random pot, so that it has stuff gathering and identifying gear, of course, while we out in the wilds collecting some beasties. And then we need to go down here to get the uh, fertilizer. And then mandrake, tiny's choppy cabbage and venomous tentacular plus 20 moonstone. That's going to add up over time. Definitely going to need more of those plants to complete uh, Professor Garlic's assignment. Otherwise, let's go have a chat with Deke and move on. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect! Deke loves an outing. A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. These are the measles just outside of Hog. I mean, Puskins just outside of Hog's meat. Ooh, I want to get that red one. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff skeins nearby. <laughs> it will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. The knapsack is used to rescue magical beasts. Press right and then assign your knapsack to your spell set. So I actually have to assign it. Assign it. All right. Put it on the other room requirement one. Give it a bash. Which one am I going for first? Let's go for this one. Seeing he's by himself. Okay. You got one. Let's get another one so he's not lonely. Oh, Ashwander X, need those. Well, they're rolling away. <laughs> oh, a black one.
everything's all right now. Well, he's got stuck there. Marks will help him out. At this point, I might as well get all of them so that they now, now, don't get I'm left behind. I'm only trying to help. Yep, there we go. I'll look after you. Are there any more left? Oh, there's another two hopping around there. <laughs> I think there was just one more left. And we Revelio. get XP for capturing them as well. Didn't realize that. Oh, it got away. No, you don't. <laughs> Yo. Okay, maybe I need to cut him off before trying to put him in the bag. Yeah, there we go. Much simpler when he's that close. There, there. I'm not going to hurt you. Okay, that's all of them. I managed to rescue a puffskeen. You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers capture puffskeens and, well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puffskeen. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobbernol, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. I have no idea what a jobbernol is, but let's fly over here and check it out. Who lived here, I wonder? Going over the water a bit. Okay, on this cross face. Socket. I think it's those birds flying around there. Those chobanols, maybe. Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. Perhaps we should work quickly. The chobanols are just here in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. What if I can't find any beasts in their usual habitat? Beasts won't stray too far from their homes. Look nearby or simply wait a moment and they should return. Do you have any advice on how I can rescue more elusive beasts? Levioso is not only helpful when rescuing flying beasts, it, it can also help rescue beasts that are generally hard to catch. Try using that spell the next time you encounter a small or otherwise elusive beast. Would you mind talking a bit more about what it was like working for your former master? Deke's master was not kind to beasts or to Deke. He saw beasts only as a source of income to be used for potion ingredients and labor and... Deke will not say more. But Deke is grateful to be at Hogwarts where he can help care for beasts and make amends for the things his master made him do. Then I shall go and rescue a jobbernal. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. Beast habitats can be found at different locations in the world. Wherever there is a beast habitat, you can be sure to find magical beasts nearby. Okay. Do you think this is the source of water for that river dance downstream? Looks pretty cool. Right, so now we need to get Leviosa out. And then let's try and see if we can't sneak up on them. Revelio. Let's start flying immediately. I just need to swap out Leviosa for Leviosa. Forgot about that.
Alright, let's just one of them up. Ooh, let's go for the green one. I'll swap over and nav stack it. It's a two star one. I mean, I have to get two button presses off, not two star. Professor Howen will never believe this. Let's get another two more or three more. All right, let's get this one. Here we go. They're very quiet, right. these birds. I was kind of expecting them to make some noises or something. Okay, let's get this one. Levioso. I'm glad we got that green one at the beginning because it seems that all the other ones are blue. Get some variation. Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. That's nine out of ten. I might as well get one more. To get that challenge for start. Ten out of ten beast caught. Alright, let's check out what the challenge actually is and what it unlocked. So, over in River of Requirements, and Billy Week Half Spellcraft. Okay, and the next one is Magic Charm Spell. Okay, for the River of Requirement, I guess. Let's return to Deek now. I rescued a Jobanol. Deek hopes your Jobanol finds the knapsack. Nice and cozy. Poachers want them for their feathers, and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of. A herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Deke will see you there. I think moon calves are those weird, giraffe-necked, fluffy things with big eyes, big round eyes. Might as well run there as it's not that far away. Alright. This might be the last set of beasts before we return to the real Oh, there's a flu point here. What are you Let's up get to that. Now? And then have a chat with Deke. Hello, Deke. Is this the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. How did you end up at Hogwarts after working for your former master? Deke's prior master had no family, so when he died, all of his house elves were relocated by the Ministry. Deke was the most fortunate one, as Deke was sent to Hogwarts. Deke's friends were not as fortunate. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. Uh, looks like I need to wait until Nata. Capture some moon calves. There they are. The weird looking things. <laughs> oh, it's a three button press one. Okay. Caught our first one. I'll look after you. Maybe I should get at least one more. So they're not lonely. Revelio. Oh, where'd they go? Are they all in a group over there? Maybe I should swap over so I can do the Leviosa trick and then capture the Leviosa. one. Leviosa! There's a white one. Oh, that's shiny. I'm definitely wanting that one in my collection. It's got a star next to it. Yes, definitely getting that one. Here we go. Nice and easy. I'm not going to hurt you. So it's shiny one we've got. Pick up a bit of Moonstone. Revelio. 
And there's a little bit more. And a sack here. Ask you some gold in there. Oh, there's a chest right behind one of the stones. Okay, let's try and capture one more. Oh, that's bright. Oh, that's very bright. I have no I idea why that one was so bright. Ugh. Okay, let's get that chest. Leather source raft. Now nah, this is gonna you run away here. Right, won't you? Yeah, let's have a chat with Deke. It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. You'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. All right, let's swap out our gear for whatever we've picked up. Nothing better there. Let's go in the house. Okay, got leather hat. Nah, let's turn that off as well. Ain't fancy enough. Okay, nothing good enough there. And nope. What's in here? All right, let's head off to uh, the remove requirement then. Carry on with this quest. Been looking forward to being able to play with these there critters for a while now. now. We need to show the beast you rescued, then you home. But, um... Not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Think harder. <laughs> hmm. What exactly did you think of? Shame it rushed the table it. it was on. But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. Before that, let pick up the stuff. Endurous potion. So that it makes more while I'm inside the room. And then I can probably pick up some more when I come out. Another bin of fertilizer and some more danger plants. Alright, that's it. Let's go through that doorway. Now. Oh, this is cool. This is very cool. Look at this! It's amazing! Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. Tap right button to open the beast management menu. Uh, select a beast from the infantry to add. Beasts can be rescued in the Highlands. Okay, let's add the star moon cost first. Our special beastie. And then the, the green Jobanol. 
and then the red puff skin maybe yes oh <laughs> Deke thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. Deke hopes so too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care, beasts that are well-fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puffskin hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use them. Very well. I shall let you know when I have some. Right, when magical Most beasts are nurtured, excellent. they provide materials with magical properties. Your beast seed and beast pet brush us of the waste nurture your beast. I did not mean to do that. Mean no harm. Let's bring him back out. That was a mistake. Oh, I just pops out back. I was trying to take care of them and then see the little Austin with its ton dot in art. They are cute little critters. <laughs> Okay, so I get some puff skin fur for them. And let's see our little moon cross. It noms on them and we get some moon cross fur. Right. Sort out our job and all. Give it a bit of a brush. And then feed them. And we get a couple of jobanol feathers. A jobanol is a small speckled bluebird which never makes any noise until the moment of its death. Okay, so that's why it's so quiet. It's quite literally a silent bird. Okay. And the moon calf. The moon calf is a small calf like beast with enormous eyes and a sharp personality. They can be observed dancing when the light of the moon hits the ground. Oh, hang on. There's an option to rename them. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. If you guys leave a, a comment down in the section, in the comment section down below, I'm more than happy to rename these beasts to whatever you'd like. Oh, this place is significantly bigger than I was expecting. A lot of open space. Maybe it's more for getting the very big creatures sorted out like. A hippogriff, maybe? I don't even know if we can capture the... What's up this path here? Give me... Ah. Uh, little den for creatures that want to see undercover, maybe? Over there? Sort of like doing our own magical zoo. Doing a bit of conservation here. Protecting them from places. I like that down on the ledge. Okay. I've collected some magical materials, Deke. Now Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. Okay, so this is probably what the um, upgrade section is all about. Magical loom. I need to get it out first, which means I need to swap out the spells to get the conjuration one out. This one? Yes, I think this one. And now, is it under utility? Yeah, there is. Enchanted loom. Okay, let's go put it in this corner. Okay, now that's a bit too far. Let's bring it a bit further forward. Alright, that's 
right up against the wall. It's basically there. It does block off the one of the paintings. Oh well. Okay. Let's try it out now. Gear features one primary offense or defense stat by default. Magical materials can be used with the lube to add and upgrade a secondary stat or apply traits to your gear. Multiple small upgrades can yield a meaningful boost in combat power. New beasts can be rescued at beast dens or unlocked in quests. New trait recipes can be collected in bandit camps. Okay. So that's a reason to clear off bandit camps is to get the, the magical traits to put on the gear. Okay, let's look for something to upgrade that we're currently using. Increased damage with ancient magic throw. Yeah, that's worth upgrading, I think. It will need three out of my currently five job and all feathers. Alright. And now we need to add a trait to an item of clothing. It's we're currently wearing this cloak, so might as well put it on. Okay. Haven't discovered that many. Uh, ancient magic focus, necromantic protection, scorching, laceration, disarming. It's that's Huskin fur for necromads, and scorching is also plus skin fur, but that increases damage, which damage with incendiary, nicely. which is sort of more deep. useful for me. I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful! Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deke suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Can I use the loom to enhance any item of clothing? The loom will only enhance clothing of a certain quality. Deke suspects you'll find more valuable clothing as you explore. Deke also knows that some of the shops in Hogsmeade can provide you with a variety of clothing for you to enhance. Thank you for your help, Deke. Okay, and so quest completed. Got some fences and completed 8 out of 8 main quests. That means I should check out what unlocked in the collection. It was the legendary mask, and then the final item is a stone necklace. But I'll need to complete 14 anchors, so that's that's gonna take a while. Okay, that's I'm gonna end it off here, and then we'll uh, pick up from here in the next episode. Have a great day, guys, and cheers for now.